Hi, my name is Hannah, and today we're going to be making my own mass Dutch apple tart or apple cake. We're going to start by having you have about five or six medium cooking apples, and so you just peel the cooking apples and you core them, and you chop each into about four pieces. Depends on the size of the quarter. And then what we do is we put in, in this bowl. We're putting a tablespoon of cinnamon sprinkled over and a teaspoon of mixed spice. Sprinkle that over too. And then half a teaspoon of ground ginger. We're going to zest one lemon. And then you use the whole, the, the juice of one whole lemon. And you squeeze it on as well. Just give this a good stir. And then you just leave that to sit while you make the cake. Um, we're going to make the cake now. You place your 150 grams of butter into the mixer. And then you add in your cup of caster sugar. And two teaspoons of vanilla. Just measure it by the top. So it's just two capfuls. Cream it until it's light and fluffy and what we do is we add each egg at once at a time, one at a time and you beat in between each egg just to make sure it gets that full like, fluffy lightness. And then we add in the one and three quarter cups of flour and also the teaspoon of baking powder as well. So you just like incorporate that until it's just like mixed, just mixed in. And then you turn it off again slowly. And then you add in the last ingredient which is the three tablespoons of milk. I use blown milk. So like that. And then you just take that again. Here I have a lined cake tin. I put a piece of baking paper on the base and then you just line around the side of the tin with a bit of margarine or butter and then dust it with flour. Okay, the first step is you get a really, really, really thin layer of batter and you rub it over the base of the cake, like very, very thin. And then you get your apples and you make like a circular pattern around the cake tin. When the first layer is completed, like so, you grab about half of your mixture and you just dollop it on top. So once the middle layer is quite nice and covered and thick, you can do another layer of apples. So you just press more apples in, like you did with the base. There's all this lovely juice. You now need to try and get that juice out and tip it on. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to add another layer of apples anyway. And then you get the final apples and you just push those in as well. Fill in all the gaps with the remaining apple. So we put the oven on at 160 fan bake. Um, it takes about an hour to cook, but sometimes it can take longer. And so you just place the cake into the oven, like so. Yeah. And so here we have the layers of the apple. There's the first, the second, and the last one at the bottom.